So in this scenario, we have this little explosive device here with a spring. And when it's released, the spring energy is released. And we can then see that this whole launcher apparatus will move in that direction. And the particle will move in that direction. So this entire body in yellow will move to the left. So we want to know which of the following is true about the forces exerted between the launcher and the block. Well, the first thing that should come to mind is Newton's third law. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force. Equal and opposite to the other force. That's the first thing we should be thinking. But we also have an explosion here. And the explosion is about conservation of momentum. And so then what we expect to happen is that this particle will have a momentum in this direction and the yellow will have momentum in the other direction and they will be equal and opposite to each other. So the delta change of momentum of one will be equal and opposite the change of momentum of the other. What we also know is that the time that, that they're changing their momentum are equal to each other. So the rates of change of momentum will be equal to each other. And the definition of the net force is delta P over delta T. So the rates of change of momentum will be equal to op and opposite to each other. And that's the definition of force. So the forces will be equal and opposite to each other. So let's go through the choices. So launcher exerts greater force. Well, that's not, that's not equal to each other. That's not the forces being equal. Block exerts greater force, again, not equal to each other. The block and the launcher exert forces equal in magnitude to each other. Equal magnitude, which could allow for them being opposite. It looks like C is our answer. The relative magnitude of the force exerted on the spring by the block cannot be determined without knowing V1 and V2, and that is false. Law of conservation of momentum governs this situation. The rates of change of momentum are equal and opposite because the momentum are equal and opposite, and the definition of rate of change of momentum is force.